absence of any private interpretation. So this is not our private yes, interpretation. Amen. Amen. It's been revealed to us by the Holy Spirit. Yes. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, because I hear that a lot. Oh, that's the women mm -hmm. dress. That's man's tradition. Like it was brought out. Um, like I said, I think um, someone was, when they were talking about the issue with Carlton Pilsner, oh, this man's Bible, man wrote this. It's not of by man. It yes, says sir. it well, it didn't come by the will of man, but holy man. See, there's a difference between a man and a holy man. Right. Holy men of God escape as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Yes, if you don't have the Holy Ghost, there's no need for you trying to preach this word because you're not moved by God to All preach right. it. Right. Amen. And that's the Jehovah Witness, the, uh, what else? Episcopalians, Mormons, mm -hmm. Catholics, all of yes. you. You're not moved. You don't have the Holy Ghost because you're not baptized in Jesus' yes. name. Amen. And back that up in Acts 2 and 38. Praise the Lord. I don't want to misquote it, so I'm going yes, to go Lord. there quickly. Amen. Acts 2 and 38. Amen. This is how the Holy Ghost comes. And without the baptism in Jesus' name, yes. you can't tell me you got the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Praise yeah. the Lord. Acts 2 and 37. Now when they heard this, the sermon that Peter preached, the first sermon on the day of Pentecost that Peter, P Peter preached to the people. Now when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of yes. sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. It says, but be baptized, every one of you, Amen. not the ones that believe it, Amen. not the ones that say, oh, that sounds right, but every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins. Your sins are remitted if you have not been baptized in Jesus' name. Yes, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. For the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. I'm on the latter part of verse 40. Yes. Save yourselves from this untoward mm -hmm. generation because we are in a day and time when it's an untoward generation. They want to do what they want to do. They yes, want to yes. preach what they want to preach. They want to preach what Apostle Paul um, told Timothy was that itchy ear message. Praise the Lord. Tell yes, the people right. what feels good. Tell them what sounds good. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. But what about... When, um, the, I thank the Lord for those people that heard Peter preach. They said, what shall we do mm -hmm. to be saved? Yes, Amen. 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 That tell me what I need to do to be saved. Don't tell me how to get a million dollars because if I'm not living right, where is it going to go? It's like a hole in my pocket. Amen. 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 Tell me what I need to do to be saved because yes. a million dollars, if when I die, I'm not saved. Go to the lake of fire. I can't take it with me. Yes, be Amen. burning in the lake of fire forever and ever being tortured Amen. because that's the scripture. Oh, Amen. Amen. You're going to be tortured ever, non nonstop all day, every day. Yes. But I thank the Lord. We want to see Jesus face in peace. Amen. 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 And, you know, going back, as I was saying in First Peter, it's not of any private interpretation. This is the Word of God. Mm -hmm. And I thank the Lord for the prophet that we have who's moved by yes. the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes. But the Holy Ghost dwells in him and he preaches his Word. He's not backing down. He's not compromising. Mm -hmm. We're not, oh, we used to be that. We used mm -hmm. to wear. We're Preach. still wearing the veil cover. Amen. Amen. Until God calls us home, Amen. we'll still live this life. Amen. So many people are oh, falling by the wayside. Oh, I used to be like that. Well, what mm -hmm. happened? Don't yeah, you know yeah, that? You, you, it's like saying I used to, um, I had his money, but I, it's like I'm throwing it in the garbage because I, I used to, but it's not going to do you any good in the garbage. It's not going to do you any good to used to be like this. Amen. What's going to do you good is to continue. Amen. Yes. Yes. Continue yes. in my doctrine. Yes. Then you can be saved. You have to continue in the word of God. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Praise the yes. Lord. Amen. Yes. Praise the Lord again. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 I agree with everything that preachers have said so far, amen, and uh, truly it's a blessing to be under one true prophet, yeah. spiritual leader, yeah. amen. Yeah. truly teaching us the word of God, amen, yeah. and you know, I was thinking about a, a classroom, a schoolroom, yes. you know, you can have the best computers, best teachers, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can have the biggest and prettiest school, mm -hmm. and your classes can be full of students, and you can teach them whatever they need to know. But if the child can't receive the teaching, Preach. they still messed up. Mm -hmm. yes. So we don't only hear the word from the prophet, yes, but we Lord. obey the word from right. the prophet. Yes. you got to be doers of the word, and not just yes. hearers only. Amen. Yes. And I like what uh, the assistant pastor was saying here uh, about uh, being saved uh, and, and, and getting yourself saved. And then also, I also like the fact that our prophet uh, has taught us how to be saved according to Acts 2.38, but he also Amen. teaches us how to stay saved. I mean, you got that. You get saved, that's good. See, this, this preacher's going to talk about once saved, always. First of all, they're not saved themselves. Amen. If you don't uh, repent 
and be water baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, how can you have your sins remitted? Amen. You still have your old sins on you. Amen. And ain't nobody going to see Jesus face in peace with your old sins on you. Amen. Nobody. Amen. T.D. Jakes, who is he? Amen. Amen. If he's not been water baptized, and if he has been water baptized in Jesus' name, how come he don't, don't have the spirit of truth? Amen. Amen. Well, let's Amen. turn to the spirit of truth. Amen. 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 In the book of St. John. Yes. I believe it's uh, the book of St. John. Thank you, sister. I think the 16th chapter. Uh, well, let me see. And 13. Mm -hmm. It says, How be it when he, yeah. the spirit of truth, has come, talking about Jesus. Jesus oh, said, I'm going to come back to live with you. Amen? Amen. Mm -hmm. It's come, he will guide you into how much? Oh. All truth. You telling me you got the spirit of truth? And you celebrating Christmas and Jeremiah 10, 2 through 4, said that uh, it's an abomination unto God? Amen. Amen. Let's read it real quick. I know Christmas, it ain't Christmas season, That's but it's still right. a sin. Amen. Amen. And folks is doing it. Matter of fact, I heard somebody tell me, say, you, I can't do without Christmas. Mm -hmm. Well, you can if you want to go to heaven. Amen. Because God has condemned it. Why would you want to do something that God has condemned? I'm going to just read the latter part of this. Uh, you say you got the spirit of truth, but your church is still celebrating a pagan festival. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, I'm going to read uh, verse 3. It says, For the customs of the people are vain. For one cut a tree out of the forest. Mm -hmm. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> you don't think that's a Christmas? Come on. I'm going to finish it. Amen. The works of the hands of the workmen with the axe, they deck it with silver and with gold, and they fasten it with nails and with hammers, that it move not. They took a tree out of the forest mm -hmm. and brought it into their house and their church right. and put stuff on it so you could see it mm -hmm. and glamour it and glorify mm -hmm. it. God says it's an abomination to him. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That means he detests it. He hates it. But y'all love it. Mm -hmm. I used to love it. I used to have the lights. Mm -hmm. I remember my prophet was talking about some of that, some of that, some of that stuff. But when God delivers yeah. you, yeah. How, what are you going to do? Stay yeah. where you are at? No, you got to be converted. Yes. We're talking about conversion. We're talking yes. about the true church. Yes. And I'm gonna tell you right now. I think every. I know. I think. I know everybody in true life. Glad we ain't no Amen. pagan. Amen. Glad we ain't no idolatry. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Praise God. I thank God for all the input, and uh, you just see it's a blessing to be underneath the prophet, where you have the knowledge to bring out. The preaching, and uh, I just want to hit on this issue about women preaching because this is the issue that that split the the PAW, the Pentecostal churches, years ago, and there still is a contingent of people going around saying a woman can't preach. But I'm gonna show that that's foolishness, and I'm gonna prove that that preacher ain't nothing but a first class hypocrite. Let's go to First Timothy chapter two, verse eleven. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man but to be in silence. Now it says, in silence with all subjection. So she can't sing, she can't testify, amen. she can't say amen, she can't say praise the Lord, she can't say hallelujah, she can't say thank you Jesus, loud enough for anybody to teach you. But you let women sing, you let them sing in the choir, mm -hmm. you let them testify, you let them sing Sunday school. So don't be a hypocrite about it. Silence means silence. That means absence of sound in the day, but no church is going to teach that. But I want to go to the book of Judges on today. We're going to go to a woman who is anything but silent. And I'm going to show you where a woman usurps authority over a man. God can call whoever he wants, whenever he wants, to lead his people on a day. How do you think a donkey going to speak but a woman can? <laughs> now, that, <laughs> that chauvinistic spirit, you need to take it back to the lake of fire on a day. Amen. Judges 4 and 4. And Deborah, a prophetess. Now, prophesying, that means either retelling the past event or foreshadowing a future occurrence. It's still... Preaching. When you Amen. sing, whenever you tell somebody something about Jesus, that's preaching on the day. Amen. She judged. Judge means rulers. Amen. Do you know what judge means? That means ruler. And she wasn't chose by a deacon board. She was chose by God. Amen. God chooses the prophet. God chooses the spiritual leaders on the day. And she dwelt under the palm tree of Deborah, between Ramah and Bethel and Mount Ephraim. Yeah. And the women in Israel came to her for judgment. No, I said the children. That's men and women. They came to her for judgment, for wisdom. So she told the man, no, nah, you can't do that. Then the man couldn't do that because his ruler was a woman on the day chosen by God. Hallelujah. Now, I guess man's supposed to be so strong and so macho, but I'm going to show you about this cowardly man, Barak. 
And she sent and called Barak, the son of Abinom, out of Kedesh Naphtali, and said unto him, Have not the Lord God of Israel commanded?